Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am gonna do a beauty haul. So skincare and makeup. It's bits that I bought recently, like over the past couple of weeks or the past kind of month. Just stuff that I've not really shown on my channel. I have kind of gone a little bit more on like the healthy, fitness side of things on my channel recently but I still do want to keep it makeup as well there is going to be just a mixture of everything on this channel so I have got a fair bit of body shop stuff in this haul as well as like random other stuff too there's not like a hell load of stuff like it's not like a, a crazy massive haul like most youtubers do because obviously I do have a small channel I don't have a lot of money and this is just like a realistic amount of items that somebody would buy over a month rather than you know excessively buying just for the sake of a video i thought that before this whole video started that i would just you know briefly mention my own products so if you didn't know i do have a website it's called freshfaceskincare.shop go and check it out link in the description i've got some products on there i am going to be bringing out some more products don't get me wrong i am going to have more on there i'm going to you know try and get as much out as possible but it does take time to make products and it also takes time when you're at uni and you film youtube videos and you're just generally busy tidying in the flat etc so oh and also financially as well so i am going to wait until i get my student loan until i do my next product because that's going to be like the most time consuming and the most costly product to do but it's definitely going to be one that i really want to get right so you'll see that one um but i have a face mask on there this is my detox clay face mask it contains tea tree and then i also have my pure tea tree oil this is a 30 ml bottle and i've got face mask brushes and everything like that on my website and headbands but they are out of stock and won't be coming back in stock for a little while um but obviously you know you can go and check it out and have a look so i would appreciate you just checking that out and having a little look but without further ado let's get into the haul so i do have quite a big bag here of stuff it's not all body shop stuff i just chucked it all in there but i will start off with the body shop stuff basically i used to be a consultant at the body shop at home which meant that i used to sell products for commission on like sales that i made and i was happy doing that for a while i earned a fair bit of money and i was happy with that but then i decided to stop and do my own thing because you know i just spent you know wanted to spend a bit more time doing something that was to do with me rather than selling someone else's products but whilst doing that i kind of got a love for the products and I do still buy their products. Obviously, if I had my own range of products, like if I had loads of products, I would use my own and only my own, but I don't have everything. I've only got two products at the minute. So the first one is something that I haven't tried before. And this is the Drops of Youth Gentle Foaming Wash. So I was looking on the website and I was just unsure as to what to get because let's not get this wrong i've got a lot of stuff from the body shop i was a consultant for a few months and i did get a lot of free stuff and this was one of the things that i never got i never tried and i just wanted to give it a go there was 30 percent off on a while back and i just thought you know what i'm gonna give this a try i love this i don't know why but i never thought that i would be the kind of person that would like foam washes so it's a liquid inside but when you press it out the pump it turns into a foam i am going to be doing a skincare routine video soon ish so you'll see you know demos and stuff like that in that video this is just me kind of showing the products but as a first impression after using this for about a week i really love this it's refreshing it makes your skin smell nice it makes your skin really clean and i don't know if it makes your skin youthful because i think i'm a bit too young for that at the minute to kind of show results but it definitely does make a difference in terms of like cleanliness and stuff so this is something I wanted the entire time that I was selling products for the body shop but never really kind of got round to it or it was out of stock or something like that. But I became addicted to the scent of Fuji green tea. So I recently picked up the shower gel. This is the Fuji green tea shower gel and honestly, in my head i think you know what georgie you can get one for a pound from lidl or you can get some really cheap ones from tesco but nothing compares to the quality of these shower gels when it comes to how quick they lather up and how like long they do you know what i mean like they last really long because you, a, a little bit goes a long way that's what i'm trying to say and i just 
really, really, really love this scent and I don't want to run out of it and I don't want to have to keep rebuying it because I don't want to waste my money or I don't want to spend loads of money. So I'm just using a little bit and it does honestly go a long way. Fuji Green Tea scent smells amazing. It's my absolute favourite. I use it every day in my Eau de Toilette, Eau de Toilette or Eau de Cologne. Fuji Green Tea Eau de Cologne, love that. But that's, you know, something I've had for a long time. But yeah, got this and love it. Okay, also this was a repurchase. This is the Body Shop Seaweed Pore Cleansing Exfoliator with mineral rich seaweed from Roaring Water Bay Island. So this here is a product that I picked up whilst I was selling things. And I picked it up for my boyfriend, Jamie, because he likes to kind of really scrub out his nose to get rid of like any blackheads or impurities, etc. It is a really, really good scrub. And we did run out of it and he was like, oh, can I have that again? I was like, okay, yeah. So I bought it again, or we bought it. And honestly, this is so strong in terms of how like rough and exfoliating it is. Somebody did comment on a previous video of mine explaining and asking, you know, why do I like scrubs so much when they're not recommended? I don't, I have never seen somebody, you know, say that you should never use an exfoliator when I personally think that exfoliators are actually really essential in a skincare routine and that if you exfoliate your skin, you're getting rid of dead skin cells, impurities, dry skin, all that kind of thing. Like it just gives your skin like a smooth, nice kind of cleanse. And I really like that. Obviously they're not to be like overused because you know, you are gonna end up irritating your skin and hurting it but i love them and this one's quite a strong one so if you like really kind of gritty powerful exfoliators then this is definitely one for you and it says it's for combination to oily skin and finally from the body shop i picked up a sheet mask i do love a good sheet mask here or there um it's like one of the things that i look forward to it's like a treat on a sunday evening and i am going to use this this sunday so today for me it's friday but i think when this video goes up it's going to be sunday so i'm going to be using this tonight as you watch this video this is the vitamin c glow sheet mask it's enriched with vitamin c obviously it's to give hydrated awakened healthier skin and it's for all skin types like it just sounds like amazing i have so many products from this range i've got or i've used the moisturizer i did run out i've got the vitamin um c liquid peel i've got the vitamin c um polish i've also got the vitamin c skin reviver which is like I, I use it as a primer and it's honestly like the best ever so i can't wait to give this a try hopefully it will give my skin a little bit of a nice glow and i will have to let you know right so that is everything from the body shop i do have one more skincare product it's not from the body shop it's from simple so i ran out of my moisturizer and i thought you know i'm just trying to save money at the minute so i'll go for what's on offer went into tasco's and this is the simple replenishing rich moisturizer that i picked up i got this one because it was on offer basically and i could have got the like more lighter one but i decided to get the more rich one because i really like a heavy moisturizer something that really kind of softens the skin i don't apply too much of it in the morning because i don't want my skin to be really oily throughout the day but i apply um a lot at night because then my skin's really soft in the morning i do like this one it is really nice but i do often find that it does struggle to sink into the skin when you've applied other products underneath it so for example toner serum etc and that's not great because if you've got a skincare routine like me where you've got those steps and this doesn't really sink in very well on top of that that's not great because moisturizers are meant to be like one of the last steps in your skincare routine but it is a nice moisturizer when it is on its own i've got a few makeup -y bits from random places random brands and i just thought i would share with you what i've got so the first one is from the body shop i don't know if i have mentioned this in a video i might have done but this is just something i repurchased this is the body shop full coverage concealer in the shade number 10 matte clay this is so 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 good it's really full coverage and it you know really does cover well if i had this in my exact shade this would be perfect for covering spots and blemishes and things like that but i actually use it underneath my eyes so i'll do my foundation and then i will apply some of this under my eye and it will brighten that under eye area and i just love the look of kind of like the brightened under eye effect and it just makes your face have a little bit more shape and 
makes you look a little bit more awake and a little bit more human so i really like this one it is a great coverage it's not the typical kind of concealer that i would usually go for i don't usually go for ones in like pot like a cream concealer but it does intensify the coverage when you do get it in like a pot or something like this. Talking about concealers, I got another one from Primark. This is the PS My Perfect Colour Liquid Concealer and it says it's a medium coverage. This one is in the shade Cool Sand. It's quite light and I like it to be light because I actually use my concealer for brightening my under eyes and brightening my nose on my chin and forehead. So it applies obviously more coverage but I just use it to kind of brighten those areas and just apply more coverage to those areas. It's not necessarily something to, you know, sort out blemishes or cover up blemishes or anything like that. And yeah, it's actually a really nice concealer. It is cheap. Would I recommend it? Yeah, it's decent. It's nice. It's not revolutionary, but it's not terrible. It's, it's quite good. I like it. Right, also, slight concern. My feet are dead. Oh my Lord. Oh my God. I actually don't know if I can feel my toe. One second. Okay, so I uh, last year, probably like over a year ago now, signed up to. Sorry, I'm just sitting down for one minute. Um, I signed up to. Oh, I could probably. No, I won't. Sorry, I, I'll move back a little. I signed up to Glossy Box and I did that over a year ago and I loved kind of every month having the surprise of getting new products every month and testing new things and just trying new things every month and not having to like go out to the shops and buy this stuff and I really enjoyed it but I got to the point where I thought you know now I'm making my own products and I'm spending a lot of time kind of thinking about my own skincare a bit more and I thought you know what is it worth the money? I'm doing things to save money. I'm doing things in my life to try and make some money. Do I wanna be kind of wasting it every month? So I thought, no, I'm gonna cancel it. So I have canceled it, but this stuff I'm gonna show you is from my previous glossy box. And I don't believe I've actually shown what I got in my last glossy box in a video. So I'm gonna show you it now. Technically, I should have got another glossy box coming, but um, I haven't been putting money in my account because I don't want them to take the money out. I don't know if they're gonna carry on doing it, but it's just been declining my, my card um, because I've been putting money into my savings instead of my actual account in the hope that it won't take the money out for the last box. We will see. The first two things here are lip liners. Now I'm a lip lining kind of person, but what I tend to do is grab a lipstick and just get a little kind of tapered brush and just line my lips with the lipstick on the brush rather than actually use a lip liner and the only reason for that is is because you've got a perfect match of the color of the lip liner and also when you've got lip liners i absolutely hate having to sharpen them it's like pencils but worse because they end up coming off losing product and it's just quite a distressing situation but i do really like these ones i haven't got to the point of sharpening them yet um but yeah this one here is i think it's by the brand saint looks but all the writing has rubbed off which is obviously great you know informative um but this is what this one looks like so it's like a nude one i'm really sorry that i can't tell you which brand that's from i did actually put this one on my lips today so that's what this one looks like then they put in a slightly darker red color and this one is next to it again i'm sorry i can't like show you the name of each one. Oh my god but this one is quite intense like you can see that that's a really good one it's kind of like a really kind of intense pinky red color so that's what that one looks like just there so two colors one's a lot more every day and the other one is a little bit more out there not necessarily something that i tend to go for i tend to go for like brownie nudes rather than red but you do have the off chance when you do do that they also put in a lip gloss so this is the brand floss and it's called it just says on the back my new favorite lip gloss is that what it's called i don't know and it doesn't give a shade name or anything i don't know with whether this is by glossy box i think glossy box might have put this in i don't know but anyway this is what the shade is 
a pinky shade it would go perfectly with the lighter shade um with this one here on the lips so i'll show you what kind of color this looks like so can you see that it's quite hard to do this in the camera but yeah it is actually really nice and really kind of reflective and glossy obviously because it is a lip gloss i do really like that color and i actually the first time i wore it got a few compliments at uni people saying they really liked it really like your lipstick so thank you to those of you that said they liked my lipstick finally we've got this which i actually am wearing today on my face i don't know if you can see it but it is a highlighter now i've read about the product and it is specifically meant to be used underneath your makeup so you're meant to put this on underneath your makeup almost like a primer but it's like a glow elixir so it's the eggs and rouge wonder love charm glow elixir and basically it will Put, have a glow underneath your skin and then you put makeup on over the top but i started using this as an actual highlighter so i don't use a powder highlighter anymore i use um a liquid highlighter and it is a lot more intense you can't really see it too much um on my skin right now because i've had my makeup on all day but it is really really good i do really like it it is quite intense so you only need the tiniest little bit but it's in like a pipette but it is super glowy i will try and show it to you on my hand the best that I can so here it is and then if I just kind of rub that out a little can you see that it's hard to show really hard to show yeah there we go can you see that so it's just super shimmery and super glittery and yeah like I said you can kind of see that up my cheekbone now and like down my nose and stuff I really love that I I'm definitely going to be continuing to use this that's what I use that for and I do really like it so that is pretty much everything from my beauty haul today like I said I haven't got a ton of stuff I'm not made of money I'm not going to be buying loads of stuff I am just a normal everyday person and this is what I happen to have in my collection right now that I've recently picked up so I hope you enjoyed this video Thank you for watching it. Give it a thumbs up if you did like it and I will hopefully see you in my next video if you do subscribe. And remember to check out my website for the products that I currently have on my website. I would appreciate all the support. So thanks for watching again and I will see you soon. Goodbye.